We get into the Arts Centre at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's the um, Harbour Arts Centre at Irvine. We'll go over in the van straight after breakfast. Now, Ross will have done a preset, so we'll go straight into a tech run. I expect that to take three hours and no more. Half hour break for lunch to prepare for a full dress run at four o'clock. At six o'clock we should be finished, giving you a short break before the house opens at 7.30 for an eight o'clock start. It's very tight, Jen. Ben, when have we ever had an opening night that was easy? I think we'll do it. Can I just say something, Jen? I mean, the last couple of weeks have been a total revelation to me. The first day I thought you were all full of shite, but I think we've put something together here that is really engrossing for even your average punter. Well, thank you very much, PJ. I agree with that. I agree with all of that. Right, well, I can't say I'm flattered to hear of all of your low expectations, but seeing as we have exactly two months to get this right, let's just concentrate on the task at hand. Aye. Hey, uh, let's, you know, just let a little bit of this positive energy into the space, Jane, you know, let's relax a little bit. Ben, never tell me to relax. Never. Well, it's just time of the month stuff. Ben! It's OK, I know it's really hard to work when you're, like, flooded with hormones. It is, actually my time of the month. You should all know that I am menstruating, in case I'm not myself. But I do have medication. I'm not due for another fortnight. Me neither. Oh, for God's sake! Jen. What, 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 what? Can I have a wee word with you? Jen, I was just at the venue checking on lights and gels and that, and, uh, well, this woman from the box office came over. She says there's a problem. No tickets sold. I've already told the theatre it doesn't matter. This performance is for our benefit only. I don't care if nobody comes, Ross. This is very early stages in the work. Tell them I'll be there and bloody Tom and Jerry from the Arts Council. No, no, you see, she's saying there's no tickets left. It's sold out. I know they're talking about putting us on somewhere else to meet the demand. But that's impossible. We're an experimental theatre group. No one comes to see experimental theatre. Ah, there was an article in the Herald on PG. Full page. She let me see it. And people have been ringing up from, you know, all over the place. An article? On PJ? Why would anyone want to see PJ? It would break the journey a little yeah, bit, because otherwise so. you've got that whole... PJ? Yeah. Ross says the venue is sold out. There was an article in the paper. People have been ringing up for tickets. PJ, who are they? <laughs> Just be my fans. You? Have fans? What about the Barfields and Largs? Well, couldn't they put the comedy competition on somewhere else? Jen, it's so exciting, all this interest in your opening night. Graham, it's a disaster. These people are jazz fans. Well, apparently oh, PJ does have quite a crossover audience. Why didn't anyone tell me? The community hall in Ardrossan's not big enough. It only holds about 200. We're expecting at least double that. Oh, God, Graham, we're just not ready for this kind of attention. Jen, you'll be fine. It'll be great. I'm so proud of you. I need an 800 seater, Maura. Come in. Come on, then. I'll help you out. I'm up to high dough. Maura. Jen, I miss you. Graham, what are you doing? I've been thinking about you. Graham, your fiance is in there. Oh, I feel so torn. Really? Mother Bell Civic Center, we can do it there. 800 seats. Oh, God. Lunch? In, in the beginning, there was snow. No, there was ice. No, there, in the beginning, there was ice. And the ice. <sighs> there was. Hi, PJ. Sorry. I didn't realise you were taking your clothes off. It's all right. I'd better go and do something. She's like in the next room and he's got his hand right on my ass. And they're engaged. Yeah. Hey, that's a general card for the crew log. 
Shouldn't there be more blue at the front? Yeah, if you put too much blue in your actors, it'll look as if you're trying to say they're underwater. Right. Um, is there anything I can do while we're waiting? Yeah, Keith, could you check everything's OK in the dressing room? Right. How long have they been engaged? I don't know. I've never spoken to him about it. Because maybe he's suffering from premarital anxiety. Is that recognised syndrome? Hmm. They shag anything. There's your yellow backlighting. That's fine, Ross. You think we could bump up with 30%? Show me. Well, that's a 20. That's 25. That's 30. That's great, Ross. Jen, do you think Ross needs any help in the lighting box? No, Keith, I'm fine. Not far to go. Right. Shall I put a 20 second feed up on that, Jen? Yeah, fine, Ross. So, it's nothing to do with me. I mean, he's just sowing his oats or something. I'm just an oats receptacle. And here's your surprise pink. Clear as can be. Maybe you should do that thing, you know, where you say, I deserve better. Yes. Yes, that's it. And the, and the snow and the... Oh, Kimmy, come on, stop fittering about us. And the, and the ice came... And the ice came down the middle. Oh. Hi, I'm Ben from Leisure. Hi, doll. You getting on OK through there? Yeah, yeah, thanks for asking. It's a fabulous theatre. Aye, with the main auditorium redesigned about three years ago. New seats, everything. Yes, yeah, a tremendous job. You know, it's so clean and bright as well as functional. You know, the whole building's a real triumph. Aye. I can't get a signal. Can I use your phone? Sure, doll. It's nine for an outside line. OK, if I call London. Ach, oh, I'm sure it'll be all right. It's, uh, sort of a private call. Uh, oh, fuck it, where's my fags? All right, Kim? Hi. Fiona, you're riding the clutch. Oh, You've got sorry. to take your foot off the clutch when you're in gear. Sorry. So you change the gear with your hand and then you take your foot off the clutch. OK. So you think they're going to be ready for tonight? Oh, I think so. I was watching the rehearse last week. It was very exciting, especially the o bit Overtake where... this guy. Do you not think it's a bit narrow? No, no, no. That's why you've got to overtake him early. Go on, go round him, go round him. There go might on. be another car coming, Graham. Oh, well, you've left it too late now. We're going to be stuck behind this guy for hours. Graham, be nice. It's all right, Fifi. Who said you could learn to drive, huh? Who said you could do that? You're a silly one, aren't you? 